use an hopscotch and you need that one color that's not on the menu? Well, you're in luck because today I'm going to teach you the super secret way to get any color ever. You heard me. We're going to do some straight up hacking today. This is so secret, I don't even know if I should be teaching you about it. Okay, fine, I will, but only because you've been making such cool projects and you deserve it. But you better make some colorful projects after you watch this video. Credit goes to Valgo for figuring out this super cool trick. Okay, so let's add our artist. I'm going to pick Mr. Mustache because he looks like he likes to paint. Um, and let's add a new rule. I'm going to pick when the character's tapped. And let's just remember how to draw. So you leave a trail and you pick your color. And then I want to cover the whole background in this color. So I'm going to make my width 3000. And when that width is so big, it doesn't really matter how far you move forward. But I'm just going to make it one. So it's a dot that covers the whole screen. Let's just look at what that looks like. Tap on Mr. Mustache, big yellow screen. Awesome. Go back to edit. Now, how do you get those secret colors? Okay, so the first thing you need to do is hold down on this bubble. And then you're going to see paste come up. Ignore that by tapping somewhere else. Then hold down on this bubble again until you see three options come up, one of which says select all. Tap on select all and pick copy. So what are you copying? You're not copying a yellow bubble. You're actually copying a string of text and numbers, as we'll see in a moment. So press check to get out of this color menu. And let's drag out a text block. So go to looks and sounds and pull out set text. And go to this keyboard over here on the left and remove this. Press down and hold on the text spot and tap paste. This is what you just copied. This is a text string that tells the leave a trail block what color to use. And now we can manipulate this string. So what does HSB stand for? It stands for hue, saturation, and brightness. The first number will decide what color you're picking. The second color will decide what the saturation is. And the third will decide how bright it is. So then how do you pick what color you want? Well, you can go online and then Google HSB colors. Or if you know what color you want, you can Google the name of that color and then say HSB. So let's say you want burnt sienna. And I don't really even know what that looks like, but I know it's a color. So I'm going to Google burnt sienna HSB. And I found on a website that the numbers I need for that are 27, 65, and 84. So let's put that in. 27, 65 comma 84. So then I select this whole thing, select all, copy, press done, and we can actually drag this set text block off now because we don't need it, and go back to this yellow bubble and hold down on it, and then don't forget to select all, and then tap paste. And I know we still see yellow there, but check out what happens. Press play, tap on the dude, Whoa, so this is what burnt sienna looks like. So now you can go to Google and pick any color you want, get the right code for it with the HSB marking, and then you pretty much have free reign for any color that has been seen by the human eye, except for maybe ultraviolet and infrared, which we don't really know what those look like, but apparently a couple people do, according to the internet, because they have some sort of like eye augmentation that lets them? I don't know. Anyway, um, now you know how to make every color ever, and I can't wait to see what beautiful, colorful projects you all make with this. Alright, see ya.